I think the ICI Plus interface is game changing. It's gonna allow superintendents to implement new irrigation needs by allowing them to use their existing two-wire system plus adding the ICI Plus interface. There's not always the money there to do master irrigation plans, but there is money there they can do smaller irrigation plans moving forward. In 2018, St. George's started a bunker renovation project. They wanted to implement the IC system around all the greens. We have an existing satellite system here. We didn't have to run wire all the way back to the maintenance shop. We didn't have to run wire all over the golf course. We were just able to pick the closest satellite and run our wire back there. With the Canadian Open coming in 2020, the standards are set pretty high. They would like firm, fast greens, firm fairways with lush roughs. The Rainbird new IC system that we've implemented around the greens has allowed us to implement those conditions to the golf course. We're able to target certain areas now, so we get a lot more coverage, better coverage. We feel like we don't water a whole lot. We like to target the areas that need it the most. The beauty of this system is the fact that we took all these technologies and we can incorporate it into the same central. Well now with ICI Plus, the people of the old satellite system can reap from the latest benefits such as ICN, ICO. They can start pumps, they can do flow meters, they can measure temperature under greens covers, they can run sub-air. The ICI Plus system really shows how you can bring a course with many different older pieces of equipment together with a Rainbird solution. There's no other product on the market that can do that. This will allow any course to update existing equipment on their time frame. They don't have to do it all at once and it's going to allow many places to operate within a much tighter budget. So what it's done is the ICI Plus interface has allowed us to install future needs and retrofit it into our existing system that we have now. It's been a game changer for here at St. George's.